And now I will demonstrate a very short and simple dictation of a business letter in Pittman. Suppose your boss is talking and he dictates the letter and it says, Dear Mr. Smith, I bought your television set and it sucks. I want my money back. Yours truly, Pierre. So the boss talks and says this letter and uh, you have to write it out very quickly in Pittman shorthand to get it all down and type it up later. I have never worked myself up to the speed of speech but I went up to maybe 80 or 90 words a minute and I'm going to write this out slowly line by line same number of words on the left side as on the right side so that you can see how it's done in Pittman but I'll break it down very slowly so dear Mr. Smith uh, dear is a letter D with a hook in it written on the line that's the abbreviation dear so this is dear Mr. is another abbreviation oops I made a mistake so if you make a mistake in Pittman you just circle a mistake and move on redo it very quickly so that's actually the abbreviation Mr. it's an M with an R hook in front and then the word Smith is spelled out in consonants. It works out to this with a little dot. So that works out to S-M-T-H with a little I dot. And that's Smith. You put a double dash below the word to show that it's a capitalized word or proper name. Next line, I bought your television set and it sucks. Okay, I is just a V shape like this. I could be a bit smaller than that really so it's something like this I bought is like this it's similar to the vowel series that we uh, showed you before but uh, instead of a light dot I'm using a light dash here in this position and that's the word bought I bought your is just the round form of R written on the line it's also the abbreviation for the word your so I bought your is also three very short symbols in Pittman I bought your if you wrote the round R through the line it would actually be the abbreviation year but that's not what I want to write then television a big long word television how do you write that you write it as television with little dots there now the dots can be safely omitted on large words because the word is so large uh, there's no mistaking what it is it's a stroke for a T, stroke for an L, heavy stroke for a V, and this little large hook at the end is actually for the sound Z, or similar sounds. Next word is set, so it's an S, T with a little dot for the E, so that's set. And is just a simple tick mark like that. It's a simple arbitrary, arbitrary abbreviation like that. Next, it. We've already seen that the letter T in this position can be it. And then the word sucks, which is like this. The exclamation point is a bit different in Pittman. You'll notice I wrote an X instead of a dot. If you write a dot, it can be confused for a vowel or something else. Next word is I. Again, I want my money back. So want is actually a W written above the line and the W has a little N hook here and the whole word is halved so that's W N T it's the word want then my is a letter M above the line with an I symbol so that's I want my money is also a stroke that starts with M but the vowel is a light dash here in the middle position that's the U uh sound so this is the word money and then the last word back it's b a k like that and then exclamation point again yours truly is a squiggle like this and where does this come from well this is the abbreviation for your with a little circle at the end it's yours this is a t but with a hook it's actually a TR sound and this is the L sound so put them all together you get a very fast squiggle for the close of letters yours truly and then my first name Pierre Pierre is written as a P stroke 
and then a round R and a little uh, mark like this for the I vowel. Uh, I told you that vowels were dots and dashes. There are a couple of other special marks to represent double or triple vowel sounds, vowels which are written together. So this actually works out to the letter P, the letter R, and this little vowel here is actually an I sound. So this works out to Pierre and the double dash to show it's a proper name. So going back to the front again, let's try it all over again. Dear Mr. Smith, so this is DR hook, dear Mr. is MR, again there's an R hook in front, and Smith, S M T H with a little I dot, dear Mr. Smith, uh, colon, should actually write it like two X's. Remember, you avoid dots, you don't want to confuse dots with vowels, so some punctuation has to be changed in Pittman shorthand. Then, I bought your television set, and it sucks! Exclamation. I want my money back! Exclamation. Yours truly, Pierre. And so that is a simple Pittman letter. So that's a quick look at Pittman shorthand. I hope you like it. And uh, have a look at uh, my webpage in the information, which is on the right side of the YouTube screen. And have a look at also, uh, also at the websites for all the rival systems. It's all good. One way or the other, you write fast. You know, they all pretty much... Uh, accomplish what they set out to do. Thank you very much.